friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Wednesday, it's a Wednesday so it's another what I eat in a day. We have a pretty fun day today, we have a really good dinner recipe and then I'm going to be sharing with you all of my food throughout the day including points as well as calories. So if you're excited for another what I eat in a day, give this video a big thumbs up. It really means a lot to me and definitely helps out my channel and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit that little subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in that description box you will find new nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend taking advantage of that service. Definitely, whether you're on WW or not, super, super important. And if you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and the items I shared with you in today's video, as well as my Facebook group are down in that description box. Head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you there as well. So we have a busy, fun day today. So let's jump in. on really quick and let you guys know about today's what I eat in a day. It's a little bit different than my traditional what I eat in a day. So if you watch the ones that I upload literally every single Wednesday and you follow my channel and you know that my preferred caloric intake every day is between 1800 and 2000 calories, that still puts me in a deficit. I still lose weight as I have for the last six plus months that I started tracking calories and points together. So that's where I like to fall calorically wise. My whole mission is to eat as much as I possibly can and still lose weight. And that seems to be a good caloric number for me. But in my last several what I eat in a days, staying within my WW points, I'm only eating between 1,300 and about 1,600 max calories every day. And that's to stay within my 32 allowed points every day on WW. I do eat a lot of whole food. Yes, I eat some processed food in those what I eat in a days as well. But because it seems to put me pretty low calorie wise, anywhere from, like I said, 1300 to 1600, which can be upwards of five or 600 calories less than I want to be eating in a day to be in a caloric deficit. Today, I wanted to change it up a little bit. So today I am eating my calories. My goal for today is 1900 calories. I'm going to focus on real whole food. I am going to have a couple of snacks throughout the day today and let's see where I fall WW point wise in order to reach my calorie intake for the day. I've done several videos on points versus calories. I'll link that entire playlist down in the description box for you guys. But I am really trying to focus on my calories, really making sure I'm eating between that 1800 and 2000. So I may do this in my future videos, eat my calories, and then let you know how many points I ate to reach those calories. So let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in that, just to see just exactly how many points I, I'm eating to reach my desired calories. Even at the 1800 mark, what is the number of points that on average I'm eating? And of course that's going to change depending on the foods that I choose, but you guys know I eat a lot of the same thing. I'm very protein focused. My goal is 140 to 170 grams of protein every day. I did go ahead and track all of my food today and today I'm at 153 grams of protein. So that is fantastic. And you'll see, I'm even sprinkling in a couple little snacks here and there as well. So let me know down in the comments if you like this format where I track calories first and then just let you know how many points I ate in order to hit my calories. So here is my breakfast. You guys know this is my new, very favorite breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. I'm obsessed. 
The hash browns that I use, I have gotten a couple of questions, are these ones from Trader Joe's. You can really use any frozen hash brown patty. I just pop it in my toaster. You could throw it in your air fryer, pan fry it, throw it in the oven, just get it nice and crispy. And then I just add some smashed up avocado and a ho over hard egg. And that makes this really delicious spin on avocado toast. And then I have some watermelon, which looks like a lot, but I will be sharing it with my dogs. Speaking of dogs, you can hear Palmer in the background. And then I have my second cup of water for the day. So my breakfast is four points for the hash brown, three for the avocado. Everything else is zero, so it's seven points. Excuse me, mister. Mr. Palmer, mommy's filming. What you doing? What you doing? Is it time for me to share my watermelon with you guys? Okay, let's do it. Here you go, bud. Oh, everyone loves watermelon. Palmer, there you go. And there you go, baby girl. So here's my morning snack. I'm keeping it pretty simple and I'm not super hungry. I just want a little something something to keep me satisfied until lunch. So I'm going to have the Synergy Watermelon Wonder Kombucha. I love this one. This one is so good. It is all the summer vibes. WW counts this as three points. I count this as one point. It is only 60 calories for the entire bottle. And then I'm going to have these Utopia snacks. You guys know I love these. They're 130 calories. They have eight grams of protein and they are four points. This Espresso Obsesso one is my very, very favorite. Coco Espresso Cookie Puffs, Roasted Almonds, and then the star of the show is the Chocolate Covered Espresso Beans. Again, this is four points. The kombucha is one point, so that is five points for my snack. Let me open these up and show these to you guys. Seriously, such a great snack. They have bananas for chocolate, which is my second favorite. And then if you like a more savory snack, they have a honey mustard one that's really good as well. I will make sure they are linked in the description box with the discount for you. So here is what the snack mix looks like. You get a lot in the package. You can see the almonds, the chocolate espresso beans, and the little cookie puffs. Seriously, so good. Definitely pick them up. All the different flavors are four points per package. Pumpkin? Are you awake? Good morning, babe. Come on. Let's go outside and try to go potty. Hi, come here. Pumpkin. Palmer. Hey, come here. Hi, buddy. Oh, see, I just woke up from my really long nap. Let's go outside. Let's go outside, baby. So I wanted to show you guys this vacuum that I actually got off of Amazon. They did not send this to me. I bought this with my own money. I actually saw this in a subscription unboxing video on someone else's YouTube channel. And I have been looking for a portable vacuum, not only to vacuum my car, because sometimes I like to just vacuum out my car because I always have dog hair on me food, whatever else falls on the floor in the seats of your car. And I really wanted this to vacuum off the couch in my formal living room because I have to haul in our shop back in order to really get the hair off of it. And I heard that this vacuum is amazing. The other thing about this vacuum is that it has an air purifying setting. So you can actually put this in your car, for example, or in a room, shut the door, no pets, no humans, and it will completely detoxify and purify the air. So I'm pretty excited about it. It charges USB. It's super quiet. It has an attachment to really get the, with a brush to get the hair out or a thinner vacuum attachment if you need to get into a smaller area like the crevice, the seats of your car. So I'm excited for this. It was really affordable. I'll link it down below for you guys. I just picked it up off of Amazon, but we're going to try it out in my car. And then I also want to see if it picks up the dog hair on my couch. And again, it's just chargeable USB. It's really pretty. It's aesthetically pleasing. You don't have to worry about a cord or battery. So let's test it out. really just sucking up all this dog hair. All right, I'm officially impressed.
Thai salad. This looks so good. I can't wait for this. I have been craving, craving salads. The recipe for my dressing is on my website as well as a couple different variations of my favorite salad. But for the one that I'm eating today, it is four points for the Kid Fresh Chicken Nuggets, one point for the avocado oil, one point for the balsamic vinegar, make six, and then one point for the tablespoon of sesame seeds makes seven. So my salad is seven points. I cannot wait to dig in. So here's Palmer's pool. Here he comes. Pumpkin, look, look. Oh, get it. Get your ball. Get your ball. Oh, good boy. Can you get it? It's so cute. It's like he's bobbing for apples with that ball. Oh, and then he drinks the water, of course. There's Diesel. See how he's still limping, poor guy. Only a couple more weeks till your surgery, buddy. This is his spot right here where the shade is of this tree. He will literally lay out here all day long, six, seven hours. Get your ball, Palmer, get your ball. Get it, get it. Hi, Lola Lou. Hi, babe. Lola, look, get your brother. Get him. Hi, honey. Hi, Lola. Oh, oh, sheesh. Yeah, what happening over here? Lola, you gonna go in the pool? You wanna go in the pool? So for my afternoon snack, I'm having my very, very favorite protein powder in the entire world, and I'm going to make a protein shake. So I'm going to use my Live Well plant-based protein powder. I have talked about this in so many videos. I truly, truly love Live Well. They do carry several flavors. This is the vanilla. What I love the most about this protein powder, besides the fact that it has extremely clean ingredients, it is also free from GMOs, soy, gluten, and dairy. Each one scoop serving has 16 grams of amino acids, 17 grams of complete protein, and only two grams of all natural sugar. It is also USDA certified organic. The ingredients, as you can see, are extremely, extremely clean. It's 91 calories per scoop, and again, 17 grams of complete protein. It doesn't taste like plant-based protein. You know that chalkiness you get from plant-based? Not at all. It is smooth, it's creamy, it truly is is, in my opinion, the best protein powder out there. So today I'm using the vanilla. The vanilla is one point per scoop. The coconut cacao, which is their chocolate, and the unflavored are two points per scoop. So if you're like me and you just want a clean, delicious protein, highly recommend Live Well. I do have a discount for them. I will link it at the very top of the description box for you. Head on over, support them, pick up the best protein powder out there, hands down. It blends like a dream, and it's also my favorite to add to protein oatmeal or just to shake it up in a shaker bottle and drink it because it doesn't have any chalky aftertaste. And then I'm going to do a cup of the silk almond coconut milk, a small frozen banana, and then today I'm going blueberries. So I have these yummy organic wild blueberries from Trader Joe's. I'm just going to make it here in my magic bullet. It just makes it easy, just a single serve protein shake. So first I'm going to add my cup of almond milk. I always add my liquid first just because I don't want the protein powder or anything to really stick to the sides. And then I'm going to add my scoop of my vanilla Live Well protein. About a quarter of a cup or so, maybe a third of a cup of frozen blueberries. And my frozen banana. Now the frozen banana is going to just help make it nice and creamy. Look how pretty she is. So we're just going to blend her up. So if you haven't picked up Live Well, this is your chance to get it at a really good price. Again, the vanilla is one point per scoop. So it's one point for the protein powder, one point for the almond milk. I do not count points for blended fruit, so two points, and I'm getting almost 20 grams of complete protein. For dinner tonight, I'm making cheese steak quesadillas. I am going to pop a bag of frozen vegetables in my microwave as well, but let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need some top sirloin steak. My steak is from ButcherBox. You guys know how obsessed we are with ButcherBox. If you're in the market for grass-fed, grass-finished, high-quality meat, 
for an affordable price, highly recommend ButcherBox. I will have it linked down in the description box and you get $30 off of your first box. So we're using the grass fed top sirloin steak, 18 ounces of steak total, a bell pepper, an onion, and then I'm actually going to use this seasoning in place of the seasonings in the in, in the original recipe. I will link the original recipe on my recipe website, but this is Tuli's Southern Style all-purpose barbecue rub and seasoning. So here's your ingredients. Salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and brown sugar. Tammy Tooley is one of my lovely subscribers. She's also in my Facebook group. She's a doll and a half. This is her company. She reached out and offered to send me the seasoning, and of course I said yes, so that I could try it out and share it with you guys. I will link Tooley's barbecue Southern style rub down below for you. Can't wait to use this in tonight's recipe. We're going to do provolone cheese and then the La Banderita low carb one point tortillas. So I went ahead and put my steak in a Ziploc bag and then I'm going to put in some of the Tuli's barbecue seasoning and just rub that around all over the steak. I will tell you this seasoning smells delicious. So I went ahead and added my steak to a pan that I sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Make sure that you don't overcrowd the meat. Once your steak is done, go ahead and remove it from the pan, and then we're going to re-spray with some nonstick cooking spray and pop in our bell peppers and onions. So you should pick up all that yummy steak seasoning, which, by the way, is absolutely incredible. It is so delicious. So we're going to saute these down, and then we'll be ready to start assembling the quesadillas. The onions and bell peppers are done, so I'm going to pull those out of the pan and put in the first tortilla for the first quesadilla. So I'm going to spray my pan again with some nonstick cooking spray. Add in the tortilla, and then add in your steak and your veggies. Cheese, fold it over, and let it cook. The cheese a chance to melt. I kind of like to push on it to make sure that it seals in everything. We'll flip it over, cut it into triangles. I'm gonna throw a bag of frozen green beans in the microwave and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is my dinner. I have some of the microwaved green beans and then one cheese steak quesadilla, which looks absolutely delicious with the steak, veggies, and melted cheese. So just for the steak mixture, it is three points on all plans. The way that I have it, it is eight points on the blue plan, which is the plan that I'm on it. It would actually be eight points on all plans. 372 calories. Just the steak mixture with the veggies is 257 calories. And that's when that entire batch makes only four quesadillas. So my dinner is eight points. Here's dessert tonight. I'm doing one of my Gil Cherry Chobani yogurts. I need to finish up my protein goal for today and this will actually put me about 10 grams over. This yogurt is so delicious. I picked up the big case at Costco. It is 120 calories and four points. Thank you for joining me on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all my food, the dogs, just had a fun day with me. And don't forget about tonight's dinner recipe that was delicious. It is on my recipe website. That is linked down in that description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to the items I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things. And of course, my Facebook group. If you haven't already, come join us over there. We'd love to have you. If you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day, give this video a thumbs up. Again, it really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. And if you are new or you're not yet subscribed, we'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you don't miss any videos. Thank you so so much for watching. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.